to what's hot today. In the digital era where content is king, language barriers often confines its reach, its reach to a monolinguistic audience. Now, enter Cam.ai, which is a Dubai-based startup, which is changing the game for content creators and media producers worldwide by offering to dub their videos into more than 140 languages, all the while preserving the original voice's authenticity through AI voice cloning. CNBC TV 18's Ashwarya Anand caught up with its CEO, Avnish Prakash, at Gitex Global to understand how the startup is transforming this video content landscape. Take a look. What were the gaps in the market that you identified and you felt the need to plug? The internet was created for the English speakers. Mm -hmm. And you know, less than 20% uh, people speak English language, and while more than 80% of the content in the world, digital content, is in English language, that's a huge dichotomy, which impacts about a trillion dollar industry, content industry. And we decided to break that dichotomy, actually. And that's what we simply did. So today, content creators, content owners, using our AI dubbing platform, can translate the content from any language to over 140 languages. So whether it's a movie, whether it's a drama, whether it's a live game, whether it's a VOD content, live stream game, we do all of it. We worked with Major League Soccer to actually take their original commentary feed in English and give, we gave out the feed in four languages, all real time. It had never been achieved in the history of mankind. Okay. And what if I told you that this interview, <laughs> you could actually speak any language, I would speak in any language, and both of us will hear the language of our choice. So what we are giving is not just a choice of language translation to content creators, but a choice of language to the recipients of the content. From what I can understand, it's 140 languages that you're targeting right now, right? And uh, I mean, how do, you, how, does the, how do you feed the data? Some of the languages that you're working on, you know, you'll be surprised to know how many people really speak that language. We are working in, uh, with one of the indigenous languages in Costa Rica. 50 living people speak that language. And it's not even a written script. That's the kind of work we do. And that's the deep learning models. That's the core AI work that our team has researched on for years. And that's really the core of what we do. You know, we, we are able to deal with, uh, we're able to translate, we're able to emulate voices, we're able to do time sync, we're able to preserve every part of the performance. You know, we are data lean, which means that we need very little data to train our models. We work with some of the leading studios, leading educational institutions, and uh, that's what continues to propel us forward. Could you give us some use cases in India if you've worked? 100%. So, I mean, we are, first of all, a global company. Yeah. We have customers in the U.S., we have customers in, in Europe, we have customers in MENA region, we have customers in India, actually. Yeah. So the use cases are, when you talk about entertainment industry in general, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, in studios or uh, we've done movies in India. We've done drama content in India. We've worked with individual creators like Beer Biceps, right? So, so, you know, we do different genre of content. If you could put a number to the number of uh, customers you currently have on the platform. Of course, uh, uh, we have a few hundred for few sure. Hundred. Okay. And I wouldn't want to name, uh, give you a specific number because every day we are going tremendously. Okay. So, we, we, so we'll keep it to a few hundred then. <laughs> what are some of the key challenges in building a business like this? And what are certain things that you need to be very vigilant when you are dealing with AI as a company, as what you're giving to, the, uh, to your customers? Like, what, what are your thoughts on that? We don't want to do anything to anybody that we wouldn't want done to us. Which means what? Privacy, security, respect for the other, uh, you know, everybody else. That's very core to our values. That is, that's very core to what we do at the uh, do at Cam AI. Our two foundational models, Mars and Boli. Mars is a speech emulation model, and Boli is a language translation model. And of course, we have many uh, many helper AI models. All of them have been created with this foundation of values. How does your revenue look like? I mean, is it a profitable business? Of course it's a profitable it's business. It's a profitable business, yeah. okay. Of course it's a profitable business. We are a growing business, right? We are, a, we are as I said, we are a, we are a startup uh, which started about uh, one and a half years back. Our products are mature, prime time. They're being adopted every passing day. You recently raised funds, um, so $4 million, if I'm not wrong. That's yeah. a bit back, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, this year only, but yes, this year, yeah, yes. this year only, yeah. So, uh, where where have you already? I mean, where do you plan on deploying that capital? How much has already been deployed? We continue to deploy our funds in actually uh, making our technology better, more diversified, uh, addressing more use cases. Uh, you know, we're going towards not just, as I mentioned, not just VOD, but live streaming and real live communications. We are deploying heavily in market acquisition. And that's what it is. It's all about growing uh, the markets for the product that we have because we feel that it can make a big impact across the world. Okay, we have to slip into a short break on that note. But up next, matrimony.